carbon fiber is good at basically everything. It's stiff, it's durable, and has an insane strength to weight ratio. That's why it's used in cars, planes, and basically anything that needs high performance. And now it's making its way into 3D printing, but not how you might expect. Sure, 3D printing filament that's infused with carbon fiber has been around for ages. Blending carbon fiber strands or powder with nylon, PETG, and even PLA boosts the mechanical properties of the filament. You get stronger, more heat resistant parts that often look better as well too. But here's something that you probably didn't know. Carbon fiber can also make one incredible build plate. And no, I'm not talking about the carbon fiber 3D effects sheets that everyone buys off AliExpress. This is the Dark Moon 3D CFX build plate. And no, this is not sponsored by them. Unlike the aesthetically focused PEO and PEY 3D effect sheets that just look like carbon fiber, the CFX plate is made from real woven carbon fiber, infused with a high temperature resin and mounted on a black oxide spring steel sheet. This build plate is not just about looks. It's designed for performance, specifically with high temperature engineering grade filaments. Carbon fiber has two standout thermal properties that make it ideal for a build plate. One being thermal insulation, meaning that it holds the heat really well, and the other being even heat distribution, and ultimately leads to more consistent print adhesion across the entire plate. This means fewer print failures, better adhesion, and overall cleaner looking prints. So what can you actually print on this thing? Well, pretty much anything, from basic PLA all the way to PAHT and PPACF. Yes, carbon fiber on carbon fiber, basically meta 3D printing. This build plate truly shines with engineering grade filaments that need high bed temperatures while printing. Materials like nylon, polycarbonate, PET, and other carbon fiber blends usually give you a pretty difficult time when you try and print them on PEI. This thing though handles them like a champ. Most modern 3D printers ship with textured PEI build plates because this is great for all around printing. It can handle most of the basic filaments you would want to print with, while also giving you the self-releasing property that everyone loves. But when you try and print these engineering grade filaments onto textured PEI, you're not going to have very much luck. PEI, specifically textured PEI, often falls short when you're trying to print with anything like nylon. That's where the CFX build plate comes in. The goal with the CFX is simple. Make printing these high performance filaments as easy and reliable as printing PLA. If you've ever burned through a roll of expensive nylon trying to get a decent first layer, you'll know why this matters. I tested this with PAHTCF, a filament that is notorious for having bad adhesion. The results though? Good adhesion, a clean bottom layer, and when the plate cools down, the prints just pop off. There's often also this audible popping noise when the print releases from the plate. No scraping or prying needed. Now here are a couple things to keep in mind with this plate. This is unique from almost every other build plate out there that you need to preheat it before printing. Earlier I was talking about how carbon fiber's insulation property makes for a really good build plate, but this also comes along with the fact that you'll need to have the build plate heat up for a few minutes longer than you would any other plate. You want to give the plate a few minutes at the printing temperature before you actually go ahead and hit start. This ensures that the entirety of the build plate is heated evenly, which is especially important for these high-end filaments like polycarbonate, PET, and nylon. It's also important to keep in mind that you need to keep it clean. Just like PEI, the oils from your finger when you touch the build plate can ruin your adhesion. Use isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber cloth to give the plate a wipe down in between each print. And for a deeper clean, a scrub with a blue Dawn dish soap will restore its original grip. The CFX isn't just functional though, it's built to last. Carbon fiber's resistance to wear means that you can print with the most abrasive filaments day in and day out without sacrificing your surface. And yes, you get that signature carbon fiber weave design on the bottom of your prints. It's more subtle than the dramatic effect of the PEO and PEI sheets, but it still adds the cool visual effect that we all love. And the best part is, you're not limited to PLA and TPU like the PEO and PEY sheets are. You can throw basically any filament at this build plate and still get that carbon fiber weave design on the bottom of your prints, which basically no other build plate will be able to give you. If you're someone who prints engineering grade filaments regularly or wants to start doing so, this build plate is a total game changer. It eliminates the pain that most other build plates have and gives you that cool effect on the bottom of your prints. Just load up some nylon, preheat the bed, and start printing. No wasted filament, and you will barely have any failures, just strong and clean looking parts almost every time. Now let's talk about my new favorite build plate of all time, G10. I first heard about G10 a few years ago from Maker's Muse, but it wasn't until recently that I finally gave it a try. 
And now it's basically replaced all of my smooth and textured PEI plates. The one I've been using is also by Darkmoon 3D, but there are other brands making G10 build plates out there. Darkmoon 3D seems to only specifically sell build plates for Bamboo Lab printers, so if you have a different brand, you probably won't be able to use Darkmoon. But I'm sure you'll be able to find something out there that'll work for whatever printer you would like. But why is G10 so much better than smoother textured PEI? Well, let me break it down for you. G10 is a game changer because it can print almost any filament without needing any glue. Yep, no more of that pesky glue stick that you have to wash off the bottom of every print. Now, if you've ever used smooth PEI, you'll know the deal. For any other filament than PLA, you'll need a layer of glue stick to ensure that the prints stick, or in the case of some filaments like PETG, you'll need that layer of glue stick to ensure it doesn't stick too well. Some filaments like PETG can chemically bond with PEI, meaning when you try and take the print off, it'll completely destroy your build plate, making it unusable. G10, on the other hand, is a completely different story. You can print PLA, PETG, TPU, ABS, ASA, all without a single drop of glue. G10 is basically the same as printing on smooth PEI in regard to bed temperature, except for TPU in which you don't even need to heat the bed at all. The ambient temperature of the room is the best for giving you the perfect amount of adhesion. Anything above the ambient temperature, however, will often result in the TPU sticking too well. So when you print with TPU on this build plate and you don't want to risk damaging it, just don't turn on the heat bed at all. And you'll still receive that flawless adhesion every single time. Just like the CFX, G10 is also affected heavily by the oils on your fingers, but it's just as easy to clean. A quick wipe with at least 70% isopropyl alcohol will do the trick, and also for a deeper clean you can take that same blue Dawn dish soap and give it a scrub. It's imperative that you keep the plate clean and you keep your oily fingers off the surface so that you receive the perfect adhesion that you want. But here's the thing with G10. If it's clean, it'll work every single time. I've been using this plate for five months now and it's replaced every other plate that I've used, which means no more print failures and no more wasted filament, saving you money. Another cool feature of G10 is the smooth surface finish you get on the bottom of the prints. It's not as shiny as smooth PEI, which I actually prefer. And it also gives you better Z height dimensional accuracy than textured PEI. Why? Because the nozzle can get closer to the build plate and give you a better first layer, which means you don't have to worry about the elephant foot effect that a lot of your textured PEI prints will have. Along with all of this and the great adhesion, the prints self-release when it cools down. Once the print is complete, give the printer a few minutes to return to the ambient temperature of the room, then simply slide the prints off the G10 surface. You'll barely ever need to bend the build plate to pop the prints off, which helps to not warp the build plate. G10 is also just as durable as smooth PEI and will last for thousands of prints, all while keeping the amazing adhesion. Over the past five months of using this plate, I've barely had any print failures, which is a huge improvement compared to my time using textured PEI, where print failures was a regular issue I was having. Don't be discouraged with textured PEI if you try it and it doesn't work for you. I used to have trouble getting adhesion with it all the time. People would tell me I'm doing something wrong or needed to clean my plate, but even after doing so, the same result would occur. I would receive many print failures and overall just poor adhesion. So there are definitely other factors in just keeping your bill plate clean that affect the surface. If you too struggle with getting adhesion on textured PEI, then maybe you should consider trying G10 instead. You won't have to worry about applying a layer of glue stick or checking the prints halfway through. I know that the model will be stuck to the build plate for the entirety of the print. Whether it's PLA, TPU, PETG, ABS, or ASA, I know that this will stick no matter what. Now, the Dark Mood 3D G10 build plate isn't designed for printing nylon. However, a lot of people have reported that G10 is an amazing surface when printing it. That said, Darkmoon 3D doesn't recommend it, so if you decide to try it, do it at your own risk. Just to clarify, this video is not sponsored by Darkmoon 3D, and I don't even make commission when you purchase something from them. I just genuinely love the build plates they make and wanted to share my experiences with you. If you're tired of wasting filament due to print failures, then you should definitely check out either the G10 or the CFX. It's been a game changer for me and might do the same for you. I do have an affiliate link for Bamboo Lab and some filament companies down below if you want to help support the channel. It really goes a long way. Let me know if you decide to try either of these build plates and drop a like down below. Thank you for watching and God bless.